side of Game Maker Studio, not the script side of things. So that was actually a bit of a, uh, that was actually a bit of a downfall for me because it was none other than Game Maker Studio, also now known as Game Maker Engine, it was my go-to engine and became my very good uh, became a go-to engine. Okay, I will have to say I was a little bit naive at that point, and I know what people are going to be saying after when they saw the bits and pieces of previous devlog saying, "Why are you going back to Game Maker Engine? Didn't you step away from it and trying to do uh, trying to use G Developer?" Well, yes, I did, but I will have to say I did actually kind of regret my decision and decided to give Game Maker Engine another try. So. In this particular devlog, I'll be happy to explain why I had that kind of sudden change of going back into Game Maker Engine and what was the reason behind it, and also yet what actually sent me down to that path of giving Game Maker Engine another try. And also yet, also updates of what's been happening with Bob the Blob and what what's going to be happening to Bob the Blob later on as well. So let's actually dive into the story of why I returned back to the Game Maker Engine. Shall we? Okay, so this happened about two months ago, and I was actually going through, going through the process of making Bob, the Blob on G Develop, but I was kind of hitting a bit of a snag. I was thinking, well, what am I missing here? Is there something that I'm missing? I'm actually continuing on with Bob the Blob, like making the game, but I feel like I'm not improving it gameplay wise of making sure that the characters is able to hit the enemies and making sure that the characters was colliding with uh, collisions with grounds doors everything especially buttons as well and the boss it feel a little bit a uh, bit janky at this point so i decided to go watch my favorite twitch streamers uh, uh like pirate software thor but also yet yeah, I follow Pixel Art, uh, Pixel Art Advocate, who actually knows his stuff of Pixel Art, and I actually do follow him and actually follow some of the tutorials that he does for Pixel Art. Is none other than Adam C. Yunus. After when I've actually watched a couple of streams of Adam C. Yunus and actually saving up a lot of Twitch points, I've actually saved up enough to ask him to review my game bob the blob because i was hitting a bit of a rut i didn't know where i want bob the blob to go or if there's something that i have to work on to make bob the blob better and after when i actually showed him my game and allow him uh, allow him to play the proof of concept of bob the blob he was able to actually give me a few ideas of where I can actually improve Bob the Blob in his gameplay and also yet other nooks and crannies that I've actually failed to skip over which mind you it was a little bit annoying when you are a game developer who's trying to find other things to actually make sure it works for Bob. After when he actually pointed out a few things he said that he wanted to know what game engine I was using. I was using GDevelop and I had to say, and I said to him that I have to actually go through all the scene events and update it from there. And he was, um, how could I put this way, in a kindly way, he was actually not pretty happy of me, uh, pretty happy of me using visual scripting and said that I might need to try something else, which I take that kindly because I actually want to learn. I actually would like to learn how to become a better game developer. And without his, uh, re uh, without his feedback, I wouldn't be here where I was. So I decided to actually drop GDevelop and the visual scripting because if I continue on with GDevelop and I end up making 40 levels of Bob the Blob, I'll be going through 40 events of it and trying to fix it up. And plus with it having its own separate tile mapping called Tiled, I feel like, oh, that's not good. So after looking back at Game Maker Engine, I just thought to myself, it might be a good idea to jump back in Game Maker Engine because Game Maker Engine is more object orientated, where GDevelop is more scene orientated. Allow me to explain that. Object orientated means you have the object and it all has the scriptings of it, the scripts to make the object work. So if I decide to make a level and make a scene and I end up throwing the object in there, all the scripts, man all the script that is in in the object will only be on the object to allow him to move left or right or even jump. Scene orientated, on the other hand, is a little bit more different than object orientated. You have all the objects in the scene, 
but to make sure that the objects work you have to have the coding in the scene so when scene one is made uh, when scene one is made it will have its own events system so imagine trying to do that about 40 times it becomes that monotonous and repetitive it was and I thought to myself it's about high time to actually try a different game engine to make my work a little bit easy which likely enough I actually am happy to actually return to Game Maker Engine and the reason why I return to Game Maker Engine is because the game user interface uh, it's more of the fact that Game Maker Engine has updated allowing us to actually allowing us to download the engine for free and able to actually export the game for non-commercial purposes but to actually show to other people export the game for itch.io game jolt and now people to actually play the game for fun so i decided to jump back on game maker engine and trying to learn visual scripting from there and looking back at game maker uh, game maker engine i feel i actually feel happy that i've actually returned it's because of how organized it is the user interface was so simple it was not all or it wasn't all over the place and it filled pretty great and after when i learned a tutorial from slybar who actually does the visual scripting tutorial i've actually managed to do a drag and drop feature of bob the blob after i actually after when i had a little bit of trouble to make sure i can actually make bob the blob work in drag and drop and ask for a little bit of a helping hand in the game maker discord community um i had a good person a good person um, there telling me that he doesn't know visual scripting and he did try to help out which I'm happy he did but he said that I actually should try and give game maker uh, game maker language another try and I thought to myself yeah I think it's about high time to actually try it again so after a few good pointers from uh, from one of the people from the game maker discord community pointing me to Peyton Burnham and also yet yeah, Sean Spawning, people uh, who actually does Game Maker tutorials. I decided to jump on, learn how to use the Game Maker language and learn the schematics of each genres and actually try and learn even further by doing my own custom coding. And after when I'd done some good tutorials and actually made a simple, uh, simple platformer uh, platformer mechanics, I actually decided to add a few more things to make Bob the Blob more unique as it should be back in GDevelop. I managed to get his enemies to work, I was able to make him move left and right, I was able to get the shrink mechanic done uh, done correctly as well thanks for using the switch and also get the cases and enums to make Bob switch from being his normal size to his shrunk version allowing him to go through smaller gaps as well like he did in GDevelop. And after when I've actually learned Game Maker language and actually looked at the functions and understand how it works, I felt like my work has been cut down to one tenth. From six months into six weeks or even less, I managed to get Bob the Blob working as he should be. The only downfall, uh, the only problem that I had was the enemies. More importantly, the rectangle enemy. I had problems with his. Uh, I had problems with his normal uh, normal state to his attacker state. I uh, also had a little bit of problem with currently now is also the button state. More importantly, the timed and pressure buttons. Because if you have seen the uh, if you have seen the G developed version of Bob the Blob, Bob the Blob is um, is kind of a platformer uh, platform genre with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of puzzle elements to make the game a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting, and also yet entertaining to make people go backwards to go a little bit forwards to open uh, to hit buttons to open doors, and. I actually enjoyed it after learning how it works and understanding how the creation coding and also yet yeah, the coding itself uh, the steps create and also yeah the draws the collision almost everything I feel more happy I feel more confident I feel uh, such relief that I can actually work on Bob the blob again and this time far more better and far more quicker without having the headache of trying to uproot myself on GDevelop nearly six times in a row and six events separately. It will drive me nuts. 
So I feel happy of learning Game Maker language again. I'm happy to actually take a step back, look at it, and decide to say, we're gonna give Game Maker Engine another try, and thank God it had, uh, it, thank God it was free, and I'm able to export the game freely for demo purposes. But yeah, that is where Bob the Blob is. Bob the Blob is still going through the process of being made again, but this time more faster and more quicker and more simpler and easier for me to understand the coding and understand the functions and understand how it works. But aside from Game Maker Engine, I've also have been working on music. Most of you people would have seen it on uh, Instagram or on Twitter or seen half of it on YouTube. I'm almost done with the music side of things. I've only need uh, three more, uh, four more music, which is the boss theme for Geo Metropolis, the credit scene, the main menu, and the level select uh, screen. The music that I've already done so far is the Geo Caves uh, and the Geo Caves boss theme, and also yet uh, Gelatin River and the Gelatin River uh, boss theme as well. So I have been pretty busy for the past uh, for the past few weeks, and also yet probably a month. And I'm actually quite happy of where Bob the Bob is going right now. So the initial idea and initial plan for Bob the Bob for his Steam release is now he had he's going to have five levels to muck around with. Two of them are going to be in Hydro Vale. Two of them are going to be, and probably three of them will be in the Geo Caves. With the third one allowing you to play the boss to get a simple idea of what Bob the Blob is all about. The main commercial release idea is to have about 28 levels at the ready for uh, seven worlds per uh, seven worlds. Uh, no, seven levels per world. Six levels being normal, and the seventh level being the boss for each world to make it more fun, make it more quick, make it more simple and more interesting. Plus, I'm just a solo developer, I actually want to make a small game as possible to get an idea of how the game engine works and if I want to take on a bigger challenge, at least I got some knowledge to do it as well. But aside from that, I will be participating in the NES Game Jam as well, allowing me to actually enhance my ideas, allow me to actually look at coding and understand how it functions, understand the language a little bit more and how to improve myself in Game Maker Engine and in the game development scene. So there is a lot on my plate to actually go for it and hopefully it will be an interesting journey so far. So yes, I'm sorry that I have actually kept you guys in the dark. Even most of you have seen the updates that have been posting up on Instagram, TikTok, and also yet on Twitter. I thought it might be a good idea to give you the full story of what's been happening here on YouTube with another devlog so you guys have more of an idea why with the sudden change. <laughs> but at least that is there now and I'm happy to explain it to you guys and I'm going back to Game Maker Engine and giving it another shot and a proper go this time and hopefully Bob the Blob will be the first one for me to be made on Game Maker Engine and hopefully he'll be hopefully it will be fun and entertaining for all of you guys as well so thank you ladies and gentlemen I'm sorry that I have actually been away I'm sorry that I kept you guys in the dark hopefully you have enjoyed this particular devlog I'll be keeping you guys up to date even more uh, even more of the process of Bob the Blob, but also yet, due to the fact that the NES Game Jam is coming around the corner, I'll be happy to post a devlog of what's been happening with that particular game project as well for the NES Game Jam as well. So, feel free to stick around and find out what's going to be happening with the NES Game Jam. Hopefully you have a wonderful night, a wonderful day and a wonderful week. Stay awesome and stay creative when it comes down to get, when it comes down to game development. Ta-ra!